Well, good morning, friends. Today I wanted to share with you a quick video on how to make your own seed starting mix for your, uh, for your vegetable starts. We'll be right back after the break. Well, welcome back. You know, when you're going to get ready to start doing your seeds, um, starting your seeds for either your spring vegetables or your fall vegetables, you know, we always start them in uh, a little seed starting trays like this. Y'all are all familiar with this. But if this is your first year um, starting seeds and you're starting out small and you're just getting started, you probably won't have more than one or two trays to, to get yourself going. You know, you can get quite a few different vegetables in just one of these trays. So. Now, if you're just starting out, you may only have maybe two trays. So if that's what you're gonna be working with, I recommend just going to the local uh, nursery and getting you know a bag of um, seed starting potting mix. It's all pre pre made and it's uh, you know it's it's about seven or eight bucks a bag, but you only need you know a couple of bags. But if you're gonna be doing like you know ten trays 20 trays you know uh, that starts to get pretty expensive so if that's the way you're going uh, in my case I'm doing dozens of trays of seed starts so for me to go and buy those little bags every time I do a tray uh, that's not gonna go over well with, with uh, my budget so what we're gonna do is uh, make our own seed starting mix because it's nothing to it and it's much cheaper to invest in a uh, and some peat and some vermiculite and mix it yourself. So I wanted to go through that with you today. So I will hopefully this will save you some money if you don't already know about it. You only need um, two ingredients. One is um, uh, compressed dry peat moss. Get yourself a bale of that. That's going to make you a whole bunch of trays. The other thing that you're going to probably need is a bag of vermiculite. Now, there's a pretty easy formula. Get yourself a container of whatever you want. It doesn't matter um, the exact quantity that's in this container because as long as you have a ratio of three of these of peat moss and one of these of vermiculite, you've got the job done. So if you wanna do this in a five gallon bucket, that's fine, just three five gallon buckets of peat one five gallon bucket of vermiculite. You're off and running. A lot of people say use one to one, one, uh, one container of peat, one container of vermiculite, but I think that's a little bit of an overkill. You remember a seed has everything it needs to grow. It will germinate and grow just fine with nothing, no fertilizer, none of that stuff. Just put the seed in a medium that will be conducive to retain moisture and give them some sunlight and they will grow. Now, once the grow, once the plant gets up a little bit bigger, of course, we're gonna to have to take care of it and give it some fertilizer and get it in bigger containers and you know, the whole, the whole ball of wax after that. But just to start the seeds, all we need to do is put some peat and vermiculite in the seed trays and get them started. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I do it and you can do it today um, yourself. I'm gonna use a three to one ratio. That always works fine with me and I have never really had any problem with it. So let's get started. Okay, here's what the first thing you need to do is get yourself a wheelbarrow so you have something to mix it in, um, depending on how much you wanna mix. I'm, I mix quite a bit at one time, so I usually do it with a wheelbarrow. You can do it in those little, um, totes there's little containers rubber made containers you can get in them anywhere with a lid on it if you're only doing a small amount that way you can um, make up your mix and if you have any leftover you can put the lid on it and keep it dry and save it for the next time you need it so it'll it'll hold it'll save but for me i'm going to be using it just as fast as i can make it so let me show you how i mix it up I get three equal parts, I mean three parts of, uh, of the peat, there's one, two, 
Okay, three parts peat. Then I get my vermiculite. I got one part vermiculite. Mix that in. And I, I just use my hands to do it with. If you're doing a large quantity, you can use a shovel to mix it. Okay. Well, I hope that helps you learn a little bit about how to make your own a seed starting mix today. I hope that saves you some money in the future. And as you can see, there's nothing to it. So I hope that helped you. So if you like our channel, please subscribe. We got a whole lot of stuff coming your way that I think you're going to really get a kick out of. So until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember by his hands, we are fed. Give us Lord our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day.